Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Raffle and welcome to another Division 2 build video. Today I have a very fun to play with build. It's an oxidizer skill damage obviously built with the assault turret. The reason I have the assault turret as the secondary skill is because, sorry for my phone, let me put that on mute. So the reason I'm going with the assault turret is because the oxidizer is like the seeker mines in a sense that there's a very high chance that the enemies will just avoid it. They will jump around or you will miss your shot or whatever. So your oxidizer will do no damage. So I want a secondary skill which will output constant DPS throughout the entire fight, throughout the entire duration of a control point or whatever I'm doing that I can count on on getting the enemies killed. So oxidizer is a very, very fun skill and a very good one in my opinion because as we will see later on the video the damage that you can get out of it is very very high and very very good however it works only if the enemy stay in place and only if you can time your shots well so for example if you are in front of a choke point where you know all the enemies are going to come out so let's say if you're waiting outside a room where you know enemies from control points are going to come out or from convoys, the oxidizer is going to be brilliant to use. However, if the enemies are all spread around in an entire control point or whatever, then you're going to have a much harder time using the oxidizer to its full capacity, so to say. Another thing that I want to talk about is that a lot of people don't know that oxidizer is not actually a status effect damage. It's not like bleed, it's not like um, fire, it's not like those things. Oxidizer damage improves by having skill damage, damage targets out of cover, and damage to armor. And that's why you see me here going with the contractor's gloves and the fox sprayers. So let's get into the build. Let's see what we have. Starting off, as I already told you, we have the contractor's gloves because it has the 8% damage to armor, which I really, really need. We have one red core attribute here, 15% weapon damage because I'm going with the technician specialization, which gives me plus one skill tier as well as 10% extra skill damage here is the skill tier and here is a 10 percent skill damage it also gives us the artificer hive which can be used instead of the turret in case you're in a group i would recommend you to change the turret get yourself the artificer hive and you will see that you will be doing much much more damage we will check the damage increase later on the video we will cover everything Moving on, of course, I have rolled a 10% skill damage here because, as I said, we're going for full skill damage with this build. Then we have the Fox Sprays. I rolled the core attribute to skill tier because we want to have six skill tiers. 8% damage targets out of cover, 10% skill damage, pretty much the same as the Contractor's Gloves. For my weapon, I'm using the Capacitor because we will get 60% extra skill damage from its buff when we have, of course, the full stacks. And we also gain 7.5% weapon damage for each skill tier, which means that we will have not a good amount of weapon damage, but not as bad as if we went with any other weapon. Uh, what's very nice with the capacitor in this build is that because we want to maintain the 40 stacks, we're going to be shooting all the time. So it works great with the perfect combined arms that we have on our backpack. The backpack is the force multiplier, the name Hana Yu. We get 10% skill haste from the brand set and then we have one skill tier, 12% skill haste, 8.7% skill damage, 11.7% skill haste gear mode and then we have the perfect combined arms. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30% for 3 seconds. So from this from the backpack and the capacitor, we're going to get a 90% skill damage increase. Moving on to the three remaining pieces, of course, I decided to go with the Empress International. The 10% skill health, it's not that great. However, the 10% skill damage and the 10% skill efficiency are both very great bonus to having this build. The skill efficiency pretty much means that for 1% of skill efficiency, we get 1% skill haste, 1% skill duration, 1% skill damage, and things like that. It's like weapon handling, but for skills. So we want the skill efficiency. As you can see, 9.9% .9 skill damage, 12% skill haste, 11.8% skill haste. The holster, again, one skill tier, 12% skill haste, 10% skill damage, and then we have the chest piece. On the chest piece, 
I decided to go again, of course, we have the skill diamond, skill haste, skill haste. I decided to go with the glass cannon because it's going to give me 25% amplified damage. The amplified damage also applies for our skills, so the oxidizer is going to be benefiting from it. Now, if you don't feel confident playing with the glass cannon, because that's always uh, an option, what you can go with is kinetic momentum uh, it will give you 15 percent increased skill damage right you can go with tag team which will not increase your skill damage however it will reduce the cooldowns by a significant amount which means that you'll have more oxidizer ammo which means you can spam it more easily without having to worry that much about your cooldowns and because we're going to be spending most of our time behind cover, Overwatch is another great option. It's going to increase your weapon and skill damage by 12%. Moving on, going to the backpacks. In case you don't have the, uh, what is called, the force multiplier backpack uh, and you cannot get the perfect combine arms normal combine arms will be great uh, the damage the skill damage will be increased by 25 percent if i'm not mistaken instead of 30 let me actually check that real quick combine arms yeah that's 25 instead of 30 another great option in case you don't want to be you know shooting your weapons every three seconds because that can be a little bit annoying Tech support is a very, very nice option. Skill kills increase total skill damage by 25% for 20 seconds. It's going to be very easy to proc because, you know, your turret is going to be going mad. So you're going to be getting kills very easily and you're going to be proccing it probably for the most duration of the fight. Now, let's go into the shooting range and test out a couple of things. Keep in mind that the shooting range doesn't always, you know, so how a build performs in real combat simply because, you know, it's the shooting ranks. Enemies cannot avoid my skills, enemies cannot run around, so just keep that in mind. I just want to show you the damage increase, right? So, without any stacks on my capacitor and without proccing perfect combined arms, we do 250, right? Now, if we get the 40 stacks, keep in mind that the 250 was on damage to armor. That's uh, actually quite important. So now we have full stacks. Right? From 250, we're going to hit for 469. That's actually nuts. Isn't it? No? If you see, when the armor of the uh, NPCs or whatever they're called goes out, then our damage drops quite a lot because we have 20% damage to armor. So... Let me show you. See the damage now. 455, let's say. Wait for them to... The armor is gone. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. 390. So basically, the white numbers that you see is damage to health, and the blue ones are damage to armor. Now, if we change the turret and get ourselves the artificer... Oh, boy. Oh, no. 664. So, the only reason I'm not suggesting you to go with the Artificer when you're playing solo is simply that, as I told you, the enemies can avoid your, your Oxidizer Cloud or whatever it's called. They can run around, they might not be on top of each other, so it's not going to be that useful. You're going to need a second skill to actually take down enemies uh, if things go wrong with your Oxidizer. However, if you are in a legendary group, right? and you see that your teammates are running skills or whatever, and the enemies are not focusing you, then going with the Oxidizer and the... What is called the Hive again? Uh, I forgot. Zero stacks right now. Uh, and the... Artificer, there we go. That's the way to go. Simply because, you know, your damage will go through the roof, but because your teammates' damage, if they're running with skills, will go through the roof as well. So... Let me get full stacks again just to show you. Artificer procced. 668 on armor. And 100k less on health. This is just... This is just madness. In the title and in the thumbnail, I, I didn't say best oxidizer build, but I doubt there is a better one. If there is, please let me know, guys. I would really appreciate it because it would be so cool to actually see if there is something even better than this and try it out. 668, it's just nuts. So yeah, 
Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more videos. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.